Wat duw Achterdijk. Poepjes. De kwaadste niet en naakt geboren have in common. They are all genuine Dutch last names. And if you know a bit about the Dutch language, you know that it's kind of odd that people are being called little farts or little poops or born naked. Well, there is a reason for that. Back in 1811, Napoleon Bonaparte ruled this part of the world and he decreed that everyone has to go to their town hall and write down their family name. People already had family names back then, but just didn't bother to write them down anywhere. And there are some very normal categories that you find in any other country as well. So you're the daughter or the son of someone, you live somewhere special, or you have an occupation. For example, Janssen is a very common last name. It's a bit like Janssen, so it's Janssen, his son. Uh, if you live behind the dike, you would be called Achterdijk, so it's behind the dike. And if you were a smith, you would be called smith, baker, bakker, etc. My last name is De Visser, which means the fisherman. And yes, my ancestors lived near the sea, they were fishermen. Uh, I still had a grandpa who lived near the sea. Um, a lot of people of them were fishermen, so it was quite normal to be called like that. But we also have a couple of other categories of last names in the Netherlands. And one of them is nicknames. A lot of people registered their nicknames as their family name. If they've done something or they said something that made them very recognizable, then they were known by that name. So they were like, yeah, let's register under that name. A very innocent one is Jan Blij. Blij means happy, so this person must have been happy all the time. Or at least happy for a lot of the time. Other nicknames that made it to last names are Man is weg, uh, probably coined by the wife because the husband was away all the time. Uh, Gelderloos, which means moneyless. And Vette Vogel, which means fat bird. Don't know how they got that nickname. Uh, but there is a very long list of these weird last names. I will put a link in the description if you want to uh, read them. Uh, just Google translate them and have a laugh because most people snicker at these. They are fantastic. One other last name category are the last names that were derived from other languages and sometimes evolved. The most famous one is Poopjes. It is derived from Popo, which is a common last name in other languages. And by means we do not know, it evolved into Poopjes. However, Poopjes in Dutch means little poops or little farts. And even though the people who have that last name, and they still do, wear them with pride, there are still a lot of people who smirk or giggle when they hear that last name. And of course, you don't need to have any affinity with your last name. You don't need to be a baker to be called Bakker. You don't need to fish uh, for a living to be called the Visser. Although I do have an affinity with the ocean and fish, but maybe that's just me. Okay, see you another time. Bye. I always stutter at the start. Last take of today, I hope. What do... And the last category is the number of names that came from other languages and got translated or evolved into Dutch language. That's not correct. Om te filmen. Leuk. Barbara de Visser. Ja. Knowledge. Drop the knowledge. Met de woordgrap drop betekent dus... Ja. Succes, hè? Dankjewel. Ja, Doei. Shit, ik weet niet waar.